My name is Fernando Rimmers, and I'm the Ford Foundation Professor of the Practice of International Education at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. I hope you can join us on May the 4th at the Educational Innovation Showcase at the Gottman Conference Center, where students in my Educational Innovation class will present the business plans of the organizations they have created to advance uh, educational innovation in areas that uh, help to provide a holistic education to children, 21st century skills, uh, or serve other very important and, and challenging needs in the field of education. From 11 to 12.30, students will have a display where all their projects will be presented. And then from 12.30 until 5 o'clock, they will be pitching, uh, making presentations, and engaging the audience in discussions of their ventures. Uh, it's usually a fun event where many members of the Harvard community and beyond uh, come to celebrate innovation and I hope that uh, we can have all of you among us. Feel free to invite others who are interested in educational innovation and in education entrepreneurship to come on May 4th uh, to the Harvard Graduate School of Education. Hi, my name is Mfundo. Um, I'm the founder of Success Spaces. Success Spaces is pretty much trying to solve the problem that so many young people in South Africa are unemployed and at the same time there's a lot of skills vacancies. And we're going to try and solve this by providing a space that has digital resources as well as mentorship support, ensuring young South Africans go from actual enrollment of online courses to completion and getting jobs as well in sectors that are in demand in South Africa. Hi, my name is Melanie Gertzman and I am a co-founder and the executive director of Blue Laces Theatre Company. Blue Laces creates immersive and multi-sensory theatrical experiences specifically designed for audiences with autism and other developmental differences. Many people with disabilities are unable to attend traditional theater because they can't necessarily abide by traditional theatrical rules, such as sitting quietly in the dark for an extended period of time. Our goal is to create safe communities, foster positive social interactions, and encourage sensory play through this theater. Our shows are highly individualized and tailored to every single person's unique needs, so if someone wants to run around the entire time, we're going to run around with them. Our current operations include our performances, both available to the public and to school groups, drama workshops in schools featuring multi-sensory storytelling, and a summer camp. Finally, we're proud that our programming is both artistically and economically accessible, featuring a donation-based payment model. For more information, please visit www.bluelacestc.com. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Karen Diol. I'm the founder of IITL Institute for Learning. Our enterprise seeks to provide educational solutions and opportunities for youth in India, specifically providing high-quality education in vocational training that is globally recognized. Initially, the goals of this institution will be to empower youth in India seeking to move abroad to countries such as Canada or America. The Canadian government specifically has expressed great need for skilled youth in the areas of health services and educational sectors, and our company seeks to help fill that gap. By providing personalized learning services, IITL Institute for Learning will help students throughout the educational and immigration process. For more information, visit our website at IITLInstituteForLearning.org. Sudo is about providing a home and an education that really caters to the unique experience of orphans. In Sierra Leone, there are over 300,000 orphans, and um, Sudo will hope to provide many of these orphans a home where the family is trained on how to integrate them into their families and an education experience where the teachers truly take into consideration their unique experience. So do a home for every child. 
all of us are constantly facing challenging situations in our daily lives. However, children in impoverished areas of Peru do so more frequently. Streets are not safe, home isn't safe, and not even schools are safe. As much as often this unfortunate reality is outside of their control, we believe that they have the potential to change the way that they navigate it. Nyauki seeks to empower teachers and students to enhance their inner strengths through the use of mindfulness techniques so they can live happy and healthy lives. By fostering moment-to-moment -moment awareness of thoughts, emotions, sensations, and their surrounding environments, children will be able not only to cope with life, but thrive in it. We will offer public schools an eight-week program for students, facilitated by our mindfulness experts. Additionally, we will empower teachers to support their students through their practice. We will provide this program at no cost for public schools by operating under a Tom's-like model. This cost would be subsidized by the programs acquired by private schools. We invite you to better our mission to empower students in Peru escape the cycle of poverty. Together, we can do it. My name is Cici. Growing up between rural and urban area of China, I witnessed how behind the spectacular growth of China's economy, most rural areas are still facing critical challenges. Millions of rural residents are rushing into large cities to work, leaving behind the old population and their young children at home. As cities continue to grow crowded with increasing unemployment rate, villages are getting vacant, leaving the development gap continues to widen. In order to solve that, we started a social enterprise called We Serve Home. Our goal is to empower rural-born college students to be purposeful and capable entrepreneurs to lead economic development and solve social problems of their hometown in rural China. We do that through three steps. First, we train them in entrepreneurship skills and incubate their venture ideas through a month-long bootcamp in university break. Second, we provide a year-long fellowship program to allow them to take a service year off return to their hometown and implement their venture. Third, we connect our fellows to entrepreneurship fund in local government budget as their seed funding. In return, our fellows would share 10 to 50% of the equity share from their venture to serve home if their venture succeeds. Serve home envisions to nurture a culture of returning home in a world where a lot of people just want to escape because rural problems need solutions and locally grown leadership. Hello there, my name is Ben Scherer. And I am Leandro Folgar. And our social venture is Presente, the Uber for backup teachers. When teachers are taking attendance in Spanish-speaking countries, they will call students' names and students will answer saying Presente. We know uh, the importance of students being there for the learning, but what happens when teachers are absent in the classroom? Yeah, when we asked this question and we did some research, we learned that over 11% of classrooms worldwide on any given day do not have a teacher. In some countries, according to the World Bank, this number is on average up to 30%. And we think we have an answer to this problem. We designed an online platform where school principals can find substitute teachers in an efficient and uh, effective way through a low-cost uh, subscription model. And our vision is to use technology to efficiently connect every student with a high quality teacher in every school around the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Frankie Lee and I, along with three of my colleagues, Sherry Sable, Alejandro Cisneros Conahan, and Gutumi Talati, are founders of Ladies Rocking the System. We are a venture that attempts to address the gender gap by hosting, creating STEM empowerment workshops for college girls led by industry mentors. Because, let's face it, statistically, girls have been better than boys academically for over a century. And research shows the best time to target girls and cultivate interest in STEM is during the college age years or junior high school years, which is why there are all of these amazing organizations, Girls Who Code, Million Women Mentors, Brand Girls, this goes on, um, who target girls in that middle school age. But what about the girls that kind of slip through those cracks? The women that major in STEM but never pursue them, the 
older college age girls, women, uh, women that get turned off because of lack of representation, sexism, none of the friends are doing it. Ladies Rocking the System attempts to solve that problem. We believe that we believe that we can make a difference. Hello, my name is Maureen Torres and I'm the founder and CEO of Pivotal School Solutions. Pivotal School Solutions provides in-depth coaching to chronically underperforming schools. Our strategies eliminate the typical barriers to improvement. We begin by shifting the school culture from negative to positive by empowering teachers and parents as partners in creating successful sustainable solutions. Then we work with schools and support them in creating systems of continuous improvement through structured collaborative problem solving. We are excited to present our ideas at our pitch competition on Friday, so come and listen to our work and our plans. Thank you. Middle-income families in Iran are investing a lot of their time and energy in developing their children in early ages, and they care a lot about their children. Unfortunately, these efforts doesn't translate into social emotional development of these children. Hand in Hand wants to support and empower parents to engage in social emotional development of their children in early ages. Compared to other programs that are developing social emotional skills in children in a school settings, or programs that are only offering materials for developing these skills for children, we are focusing on the relationship of parent and child and developing them together. Hi. My name is Priyanka Iddamalgoda and I'm the founder of the Holmes and Watson Elementary Charter School in Staten Island, New York. Holmes and Ch Watson Charter School teaches students within the grade 3 through 5. Our school is unique because we are an inclusive charter school. What this means is that students with an individualized education plan and general education students will be in an integrated classrooms, which is unlike most schools in the rest of the country that consciously decide to segregate its students with special needs from students who do not have special needs. We at Holmes and Watson recognize that students with disabilities deserve a fair and equitable education and that in the real world, individuals with disabilities work alongside us, not separate from us. Holmes and Watson goal is for our students to graduate and enter the real world with a sense of compassion and understanding that all people deserve opportunity, support and respect. Thank you. High schools in Chile have difficulties developing in their students' skills like collaboration and critical thinking, which are valued and also rewarded in the labor market. On the other side, students are dissatisfied with this unengaging education totally disconnected from the real world. For this reason, Adventures brings industry experts to schools to empower students with real-world lessons. Adventures works side by side with local companies to offer schools with workshops, internships, and classroom support that will help students discover their passions and develop 21st century skills. Hi, my name is Sanja. At Connect to Change, our mission is to promote social cohesion through skills building for youth. We do this by bringing together youth from different socioeconomic backgrounds and giving them the tools and the skills they need to succeed in the workplace. Thank you.